Let's take a look what's happening. Spoken word only. Mostly clear skies tonight. It's going to be a bit chilly, but also gusty offshore winds, especially over Napa County and Solano County. We'll come back to that in just a second. A chilly start tomorrow morning, but we are going to warm up. Mild, dry weather continues all the way through Thanksgiving weekend and into early next week. Now, whenever we get these gusty offshore winds that develop this time of year, we always have to be concerned about the fire threat. The good news is we got all that rain in October and early this month. Our fire danger index, though, isn't set at zero as we head into tonight. In fact, it's more than halfway up the scale in a few spots from Danville, the higher elevations of Contra Costa County, seeing a little bullseye of higher fire danger there, but really more of it centered around Fairfield, Vacaville, and then over towards Napa and Sonoma. And those fire danger indices are going to remain elevated as we head into the early hours tomorrow morning. Then as the winds die down, the fire danger should back off. And I don't think we're going to have any major issues. The vegetation still has absorbed a lot of that moisture that we received last month and early this month, but we've been dry for the past couple of weeks. So never say never in the Bay Area. The greater threat by far is going to be for Southern California, where red flag warnings are already going into effect tomorrow. Looking outside, the last rays of sunlight on the horizon as we look out from the top of the Mark Hopkins Hotel. Upper 50s for a high temperature in Pacifica today. Otherwise, low to mid 60s, even 67 degrees in Santa Rosa. Temperatures are going to be pretty similar again tomorrow and again for Thanksgiving Day. Right now, we're dropping off down to 52 degrees already in Petaluma. You're the cool spot on the map. 62 degrees just up the road in Santa Rosa is the warm spot. Most of us within a few degrees on either side of 60. Later on tonight, though, down to the low to mid 40s inland with upper 40s around the bay. But the chilliest spots inland are going to drop down into the upper 30s. And then we start warming up. Maybe some patchy frost possible, but I think that's going to be pretty scarce. Temperatures in San Francisco reaching up to the low to mid 60s tomorrow afternoon. The winds aren't going to be that gusty in the city tomorrow. That offshore wind, though, will help to boost temperatures up to about 2 to 4 degrees above average. Up into the mid 60s for Santa Rosa. Also up into the mid 60s for Concord. Just maybe a degree or so cooler. Plenty of sunshine throughout the day. Because of those gustier winds overnight tonight, I don't think we're going to see as much fog to start the day even far inland in the East Bay. San Jose reaches up into the mid 60s again tomorrow. Just not much variation from place to place. Mid 60s around the bay and farther inland. Low 60s right along the coast. Temperatures should be about the same on Thanksgiving Day and then a little bit of a warm up as we head towards Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But here's your hour by hour Thanksgiving Day forecast. If you're going to be up early to take part in one of the turkey trots, something like that, I'm doing the turkey burn with my wife in Pleasanton. So we'll see you out there. Layer up. Temperatures at 8 a.m. are still going to be in the 40s, but we warm up quickly. Low 60s by noon with upper 60s inland in the afternoon. High temperatures Temperatures around the bay reach the mid 60s and even low 60s along the coast. Looks like a nice weather pattern overall. Dry weather for Thanksgiving, dry weather for Thanksgiving weekend, dry weather into early next week. This is a blank chart almost, just the slightest chance of a passing sprinkle next Tuesday night. That's a long way down the line. Temperatures are going to stay nearly steady around the bay for both San Francisco and Oakland. More of a warm up inland. San Jose reaches up close to 70 degrees by Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And very similar temperatures for inland parts of the East Bay and the North Bay. Everyone's temperatures back off by Tuesday, which is the last day of November, but still a degree or two above average to round out the month.